Welcome to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. If this is your first time viewing my channel, I consider you a one-hit wonder. I'm glad you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, two great tastes that taste great together. Okay, y'all, today uh, is a little bit weird. If I'm squinting, I'm just going to let you know right now. I have my eyes dilated today, um, plus they did some numbing drops and some whatever, and I've got like almost like tunnel vision, so please bear with me. I am... I am awake. <laughs> so uh, today what I wanted to talk about was an idea that hit me eh, a couple of weeks ago. Well, I've lost my mind. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was last year, earlier this year. Um, anyway, I had ordered uh, some yarn from a company called Blue Mountain Farms. And they are in Pennsylvania. And I got what they call their hodgepodge. And what that is, is essentially, so they're a mill and, you know, different people bring different kind of uh, fibers to them. And they, you know, they do all of the processing to turn the fiber into yarn and other things. Uh, but I'm after all of that's been done they take kind of the things that fall at the bottom i'm just kind of assuming what this looks like but it's essentially recycled fiber and they re you know they put it back into the yarn maker and make their own yarn and it's called hodgepodge because it's made of so many different types of fibers that is the long story um I'll try to maybe put a little blurb up here or maybe here on the screen, you know, so that to better explain it. I ordered two hanks and this is what it looked like. Um, this one has already been wound into a, to a ball because again, you'll understand this in a minute. Anyway, this is what it looks like and it's 200 yards and it's just, you know, a menagerie of different, I'm going to assume they're all like animal fibers. And they had like a little slip that they included. A few moments later. You know, one thing I can absolutely count on myself doing is throwing away something three seconds before I need it. I had the little card for the longest time. It was in my crochet notebook and it's gone. So this is a worsted weight and... It is approximately 200 yards, and it just says 100% natural fiber. So yeah, again, I think it's all animal. And they're twelve. They're twelve dollars a skein. So again, I had these two, and I decided that I want to make myself a grandpa sweater. <laughs> Speaking of sweaters. So here is my hot cocoa sweater. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My hot cocoa cardigan. I love it to bits. However, and I guess this is the first time I actually had ever used any of my um, Knit Picks Wool of the Andes yarn. So I've got a bone to pick with Knit Picks Wool of the Andes yarn. I made this sweater less than a month ago. Look at this. Whoa, let me see. What? There we go. Now, 
there's not so much on this dark brown here or this right here. This is a end that came unwoven. But anyway, this and this are fisherman's wool from Lion Brand. But the snickerdoodle, it is pilling horrifically. Like, it's pilling worse than acrylic. Oh, no. Has that stopped me from wearing it? No. Did I wear it out in public? Yes. I wore it to my eye appointment today. Did it keep me warm? Yes. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. But just in case you're wondering, this is old. This was old, old stash. Like, again, 10 plus years ago. And maybe it's made better than now than it was then. I'm just letting you know that, I mean, it just, and I have a gleaner. I don't know how to use it, but I have one. So back to my story. So 200 yards. Oh, I already said that already. So my plan was to make a grandpa sweater. And I thought, you know what? This would be like the perfect yarn. However, 400 yards is not enough. So I decided to order four more skeins. Now, why did I think that four more skeins was going to... Okay, my thinking was, well, these two look enough alike. So four more... All right, so these came the other day. Now, obviously there's, the striping is the same. There's more white and they can live together. Not a problem and I got two of those. <laughs> It's these other two that have me stumped. Question number one. What animal has this color? Seriously. I'm like, I want, I want to know what the rest of the yarn, like a full hank of whatever this one yeah like yeah beautiful and then there was red but i think see like this but and i thought this was just like the tie but it's down further here also so i think it's it's part of the yarn but what animal and also do they all, would they all look all right in a sweater cardigan together? Because I'm kind of dying to get started, which is why I went ahead and caked this one up because I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and get started. And then when the other ones show up, you know, I won't have to stop or anything. But then when I looked at them, I definitely stopped because I just, for whatever reason, they don't, to me. Wow! Um, well, okay. Like those two. I guess, I don't, I don't know. I, again, they definitely look like they're related. I just feel like it just, it was different than what I had envisioned. And I guess maybe that's what the issue is. That sounds, that sounds good. But other than that, and another thing, so this is not a uh, super wash, you know, it is, it is natural 100%. But I want to do a quick comparison. All right. So now last year I did a, um, Kind of like a 
like a, I took a closer look at yarn from a company called Topsy Farms, which is in Canada, and their yarn is untreated and also got it in a worsted weight. And here's here was this. And this was 110 grams. It doesn't say the yardage, but it's 110 grams. And this is, you know, like, you know, natural, straight off the sheep, you know, rugged. <laughs> so I kind of assumed after after getting this that that's what the hodgepodge would feel like but no this is incredibly soft especially compared to this now would i say that this is like merino let's see okay so this is a hundred percent merino superwash and it is uh, worsted weight. And that, that's what I'm trying to compare right. So this is a worsted weight, which is 100% straight off the sheep. You know, Mother Earth birthed that whole, ah, that. Okay. And then we've got the hodgepodge. And then we've got the superwash. So again, this one is rustic. No doubt about it. Four, I think I have four skeins of this and two were green, two were uh, um, natural undyed, and then I had a purple one. The purple one is in, in fingering weight and I haven't used that one yet, but I plan to make a bag out of this and I think it would be a very, oh, what do you call it? Durable. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm fuzzy in the eyes and fuzzy in the brain. Yeah, I said that right. No, anyway, I plan to make a bag out of this and crocheting with it, it is, again, it it is 100% very, very, rough okay I would not I couldn't see myself making a sweater or anything out of this which is ironic because um I'm a member of their Facebook group and a lot of uh people in the group post different projects that they make and 99.9 I think honestly I think I'm the only crocheter in this group none of the projects they've shown are crocheted it's all well, it's all knit and it's like um you know like the the fisherman cable kind of they're gorgeous don't get me wrong they're 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 absolutely gorgeous i just have not seen anything crocheted because nope. i did actually ask if anybody had crocheted with the yarn in the group and nobody it was it was like crickets so um but yes i plan to make a bag hopefully um i'd love to be able to felt it because this this feels like it would felt like beautifully deliciously so we'll see i might put it on my y'all might not know this i do have a knitting machine i might put it on my knitting machine i think i think i might do that this Again, I I can't attest to it as for, for knitting. However, lots of knitters knit with this. So comparing Superwash Merino Worsted, and honestly, I think this is the only skein of Superwash Worsted that I own at all. So comparing that to this, okay, let me tell you, wait. not that different this is really soft i mean you can you can like oh what's the word i'm gonna so you can feel like okay looking at the texture you can feel the texture 
but it, it doesn't feel rough and okay this might be slightly softer slightly so I love this and I'm hoping that a thousand skein thousand skeins yeah that would be more than enough Jackie I'm hoping that a thousand yards will be enough to make me a nice even if it's just a little cropped cardigan grandpa style I think the colors all right see so seeing them like this yeah, I can, I can see. It. I still, I guess because I, I, I did get, you know, six, so I can kind of alternate skeins. It's just so interesting because even with this and uh, the fisherman's wool, this doesn't even feel like the fisherman's wool. Nope. So if you would like something different um, and interesting, and I, you know, I'm not sponsored affiliated or anything at all with uh, this company blue mountain farms but for twelve dollars for 200 yards of, of, uh, you know what this is unique yarn in and of itself it is really really unique I, this spin here is just what is it what was that word somebody marled marled yeah this is what I hope to be working on in December. I am still working on the, I think I told y'all about it, the, the cardigan that I am creating based off of my favorite For the Frills sweater pattern. I just, I'm doing it in Tunisian crochet and it's, it's, my challenge is the sleeves. I'm going to make, I'm making them flat. Um, hopefully that'll turn out because that's really the last part of the sweater, but uh -huh. that's the part of the sweater that I almost always hate doing. Okay, there was something else I wanted to say. Okay, don't forget to send me your crochet, crochet, to send me your cozy crochet photos. Or you can send me a video. I, I am going to put them all in like, you know, a montage. Y'all, I'm telling you, my eyes apparently are affecting my ability to speak. Man, do I look like I got beat up? Oh my goodness. Do they look swollen? Y'all can see much better than I can. I apologize. Yeah, don't forget to send me your pictures uh, or video. Um, you can you can email me at crochetadhd at gmail.com or you can, um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. I've already gotten a few in. Also, I'm going to insert a photo like right here. So one of the Glam Famers was participating in the Doctor Who 60th anniversary make-along and she told me what she was making and I was so excited for it. I didn't realize that she was going to gift it to me. And I just want to say, I have never been gifted a knitted item before. And I just sat in awe after I received it. I just sat in awe because first of all, it's glorious. I mean, it's a TARDIS. But not only is it a TARDIS, it is a knit TARDIS. It is a knit TARDIS. It is a TARDIS knit out of sparkly yarn. And she made it in enough time to send it to me. And I received it before the actual date of the 60th anniversary. And since the, the anniversary special is going to air on Saturday, the 25th of November, which if I have this planned right is today, I get to wear it. I get to snuggle underneath it while watching the 60th anniversary special. So ha! I, I love this so much. I had, after I 
you know, finished ooing and aahing over it. I folded it up and I put it in our little basket that has all of um, our blankets and stuff in it because, you know, we're, we're cold here. Um, and not Hetty got home from work and she was just minding her business. She walked past the basket and it wasn't even like lit, right? She just walked past. She goes, what is this? And pulled it out. And she was just like, so it caught her attention, even though it was in amongst, you know, other blankets and stuff. But now she's kind of a little bit but I love it. Thank you so much. It was so great. Okay, there was something else I wanted to say. Uh, okay, don't forget to send your photos. I said that already. Um, I'm going to pause for a moment so that Editing Jackie can say or do something here. All right, if you have enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. <laughs> ha ha ha. Not editing, Jackie. This is just me. I would love to get to 1,220 subscribers before the end of the year. 1,220 is a special number to me for not real. I mean, there are reasons, but I just thought it was a good kind of number to sort of attain to. And if we get to 1220 by 1231 or 123123, one, three, if you live in America, um, I am going to be doing a yarn rehoming. <laughs> that is what I'm going to call the thing where people, you know, comment or something. And then if they, if their comment is chosen, then, you know, you can have stuff sent to you. So yes, a yarn rehoming if we get to 1220 by 1231. Oh, that's a lot of numbers. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'll write it down. 1220 by 1231. But I do like one, two, three, one, two, three. That's fun. In case you didn't know that. All right, as I was saying, if this is your jam, if you want to get into the jelly, if you just want to have a sandwich, do me a favor, click that subscribe button right there and don't forget to rock that notification bell. Until next time, I've been Jackie.